Oh, hello. I'm back again for my fourth and final playthrough of a Star Trek Deep Space Nine video game. Uh, I previously played the games called uh, Crossroads of Time. That was on a platformer on Sega Genesis. Then I played uh, Harbinger, a PC-only point-and-click adventure game in the style of Myst. And then finally, or more, most recently, I played The Fallen, which was a third-person action shooter uh, released, again, only for PC uh, in 2000. Um, so at this point, I'm at the final game, Star Trek Deep Space Nine Dominion Wars. Uh, this ad here will tell you all about it. But yeah, basically, um, what's made this series interesting to play is that each game has been very different from the last. So it's just a varied, kind of wild mix of genres in there. Uh, showing again that um, the license holders weren't too particular about the kind of game, right? They just said, they just wanted someone who's going to take their license, uh, pay them <laughs> to use it, uh, and make something interesting with it. Hopefully, that was one of the goals. Uh, but yeah, this fourth game is a RTS, or RTS. It's a real-time strategy game. It's um, usually been a PC-only genre. It's on consoles now as well. But basically, it's a game where you know you control a bunch of units uh, around a field or a battle uh, scenario or area uh, from a kind of distant perspective, kind of a god view. Um, if you've played, uh, I don't know, Age of Empires from from Microsoft, it's the same thing. It's so it's a genre that is very um, technical. Like you need to enjoy controlling a bunch of little units running around in a field and directing them to go do do different things. Um, and if you like that sort of genre, then this is the game for you. So, and it's interesting because I, I think that like one of the words I saw to describe this game was faceless, which I agree with in that uh, there are some voices, but only when they're reading the the briefings or the mission objectives, they're the voice, there's no characters you really interact with. There's no, the stories are very like, it's all plot stuff, right? No, no nuanced character narrative. But I think if you enjoy this kind of game, you don't necessarily need that. Uh, but I think this game was also geared toward Star Trek Deep Space Nine fans. And if you're there for the characters, then this game uh, might have failed to, to meet up to what you needed. Uh, like me, like I'm here for the characters and the story. And this game really is light on that. But we're still going to play it because I can still, you know, enjoy an RTS on some level. So let's just get uh, get this thing going. Assuming the video uh, is going to pop up one second. Uh, maybe it's not. Uh-oh. There it is. Scared me. <laughs> okay, let's fire up this thing here. And yes, we'll click past that error, and we'll be good. And I forgot to move the keyboard and mouse over, so I'll do that too. So Gizmo Games here is the developer, the publisher is Simon & Schuster. Uh, mass Media, I have no idea what they did, but they were involved. Oh yeah, so there's a long intro bit, uh, and because I'm trying to be complete this playthrough, I'll go ahead and let this whole thing play out, but uh, it's it's a doozy. It's, it's a, um, no voice, no, no dialogue, so I can talk over this, but it's uh, certainly detailed.
in trouble. kind of sets up what you're doing in this game, right? You have, it's based on the Dominion War arc from season, or from the last few seasons of the show, Star Trek, Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Um, basically, you have the Federation, the Klingons, who are shown here on one side, and you have the Dominion shown here on the other side. And the Dominion is teamed up or allied with the Cardassians, who are a, a local power. So basically, you have a couple of you know, opposing sides here have teamed up to take each other on. Um, mainly because of the Federation. The, the people who are supposed to be the good guys basically moved into Dominion territory uh, without regard for who was there. And the Dominion, who was very fascist and aggressive, they were like, nope, you're not doing it. So they kind of kicked off a war that played out over like the last three seasons of the TV show. Uh, and they made a this game is based entirely on that arc of the show. Uh, and it's interesting because uh, a lot of fans complain that Star Trek's not supposed to be about war. The creator, Gene Roddenberry, was very adamant that it's not about that. Especially, I think, after Star Wars. Because a lot of people, I'm sure, were telling him, like, no, where's, where's the conflict? Where's the combat? And he was not into that. But I think as, um, well, A, as his power diminished and he sadly passed away, right as the i think next generation was in development so once the writers and creators were free of his constraints uh and technological constraints once they could show a big space battle with cg ships they were like all right we're doing that so this show this game kind of is is kind of built on all of that history uh all right so what are we gonna do we're gonna play the federation campaign first there's two campaigns the federation side of the war which plays out a lot like the TV show. Then also the Dominion side of the war, which is a complete alternate history of events. Like, it, it's a what if. Like, what if the Dominion w was the side that won the war? How would that play out? And that's sort of what happens there. But that's going to be s second, because I, I think um, that's a good way to close out this playthrough. We're going to start with the Federation Alliance missions uh, and go through those. Stardate 50564.2. For the past two years, a Gamma Quadrant civilization known as the Dominion has engaged in a campaign of covert operations intended to pit the Federation, the Klingons, and the Romulans against one another in order to set the stage for a swift and successful Dominion invasion of the Alpha Quadrant. The Dominion and its agents have instigated a war between the Klingon and Cardassian empires, and in so doing, briefly turned the Klingons against the Federation who refused to join their conflict with Cardassia. That war has proved to be a costly one for both sides, but especially for the Cardassians. As the Klingons began to press their advantage, we were certain Cardassia faced imminent defeat. But today, the balance of power shifted in a disturbing way. Gul Dukat announced that he has forged a pact, making the Cardassian Empire the first Alpha Quadrant member of the Dominion. In response, the President of the United Federation of Planets and Chancellor Gowron of the Klingon Empire have renewed our formal alliance in anticipation of what, regrettably, appears to be the inevitable outbreak of war. Ooh, very dire. Stardate 50614.9. The Cardassians are notorious for holding grudges, 
They're still angry about the loss of several key territories annexed when the border was redrawn after the federation Cardassia Treaty, signed in 2370. And they haven't forgotten about the beatings they've taken from the Maquis renegades in that sector either. Our current intel indicates they'll very likely use their new Dominion muscle to hunt down the Maquis cells and start wiping them out. Since we need the Maquis to help us relocate civilians out of the war zone, we can't let that happen. That's where you come in, Captain. Several Maquis raiders are protecting civilian personnel transports as they make their escape from Cardassian territory. Your mission is to escort and defend the transports until they're safely out of the Badlands. You are authorized to defend yourselves with lethal force if necessary. The tactical minimap to your right contains an overview of our current theater of operations. The markers reflect our best projection of key strategic points and mission objectives in this sector. If you become unsure of your position or of which mission objectives have been completed, simply refer to your objectives menu. Ionic disruption from the plasma storms will disable your shields while you're inside the Badlands, so be careful. Your task force will consist of one Steamrunner-class starship and two Saber-class starships. Good luck. This, is that it? He's done? He's done. Okay. So yeah, basically, that's just... Uh, every mission starts with one of these briefings, and every briefing is read by one of... Uh, I think three actors who voice in the game. It's this guy, Barry Jenner, who was Admiral Ross on the TV show. He is the voice for all of the Federation briefings. And then on, on the Dominion side, well, we'll talk about that when we get there. But So here, anyway, get used to that voice, because he's going to be talking a whole lot. All right, so yeah, we're on the first mission here. We have to escort some freighters uh, and eliminate the Cardassians that are in the way. So yeah, what am I going to do here? Um... We can pick ships. That's so you have a bunch of choices at each mission briefing. You can choose your ship, the captain for each ship, a device to attach to them, uh, and some extra crew members if you need to uh, capture any ship, ships or bases. That's what they're for. But this first mission is pretty simple. So we're going to grab a couple of steamrunner ships. And then we're going to grab some captains. Uh, I have to decide who I want to throw in there. Uh, I think, uh, and then the thing is, uh, everything has a cost too. So you have a set, a set number of credits as you, as you see down here and you can only spend so much. So I have to decide who I'm going to take with me. Uh, I like the idea of a fleet that's all, uh, women, a women led fleet of ships. I think that'd be cool. So we're going to, we're going to include Dax, of course, because Dax is the, uh, she's the one member of this group here who's actually in the TV show. She's one of the main cast members. Uh, and here we cannot, we can't uh, grab any of these captains because they're too expensive. And they don't, uh, yeah, we don't need them yet. So I think I'll grab, it'll be Dax assigned to that ship. And then let's, let's try Huss. What are the stats here? Oh, see, she has better stats than this uh, person, Be Bechuch. So Hus, Hus is the one. And that was all of our credits. Let's, let's go on. So yeah, many RTSs, the first Selected. thing you do is you want to create your, one set. you want to create your, your attack groups. So they're, they're assigned. Uh, so we have two objectives, two waypoints. You can see the triangles on the minimap there. Hmm. Let's go, Confirmed. let's go to this one. So, the trouble here is in that some maps have this. Uh, nebulas like this one interrupt Entering your warp. Nebula. So like there I used warp to go as far as I could because it speeds me up. But now that I'm in the nebula, the warp will no longer works. So I have to. Destination confirmed. I have to speed around or fly around at normal speed, or three quarter impulse. So that's what that is. Uh, I'm going toward this triangle. Destination confirmed. Exit point detected. All right, so that's a freighter. We have to escort them out of here. 
And they're headed toward the exit. Oh. Detected. Selected. Enemy ship destination confirmed. What? Who's shooting? I don't even see them. Oh, I took them out. Detected. Enemy ship destroyed. Wow. Uh, so that demonstrates what's going to be a pretty common strategy, which is just, uh, you know, there's all these tactical options. You know, on the side here, you can see you can, like, control your ship's functions and, you know, the parts of the sh how you attack enemies, you know, parts of the enemies you attack, etc. But in the end, what what's going to do it? Affirmative. What, what gets the job done is overwhelming firepower. And that's it. All you want to do is have a lot of a strong ship and you gang them up on individual ships and that always wins the day. Group 1 selected. Destination confirmed. Which, uh, I feel like that wasn't the intent of the developers. But uh, I think they just didn't balance it well enough to for tactics to really matter all that much. I think they, they got away, right? Yeah, they got away. Alright, now we have to go toward that triangle. So we're gonna go... Uh, we're gonna go over there. To coordinates. And again, oh, I can warp for a moment. But not very long. So yeah, back to normal speed. Proceeding space. to coordinates. Yeah, so this is an area of the, of the space called Badlands. They sh it shows up in the show. But basically, it's just an area where um, there's you know some kind of natural fluctuations in the environment or gases or whatever that mess with ship scanners and ship uh, ability to fly around. Uh, I know there's going to be more enemies flying around somewhere. You should also get used to this view because when I'm playing, I tend to just zoom way the heck out to get a full view of the battlefield. Because there, there is the option to zoom in like this, but uh, I guess if you want to look at a ship, you can do that. But if you're playing, you generally want to be like up at this level. Let's fly over there. Proceeding to coordinates. Let's very slowly make our way toward that spot. Oh, detected there we go. attack. Confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Confirmed. So I got rid of the threat already. That was quick. There's the freighter I have to accompany. So now we're going to guard the freighter. And that should do it. Now the ships will just follow the freighter all the way to the exit. What is that? Oh, the other freighter's still there. Uh, I hope it's not getting shot up. Confirmed. So something really dumb about this game is that the pathing AI for ships sometimes will crash you right into a planet. It's it's the stupidest thing. Uh, but this game does it, and you have to basically always keep an eye on, Destination uh, confirmed. on where your ships are headed, because they'll just bash right into a meteor or a planet, and it's, it's over. So here, like they're babysitting the freighter, and you have to babysit them. Let's zoom in a little bit more. This is another aspect of the game to get used to, it's just the uh, 
not interminable waiting, but there's there's going to be a lot of waiting for uh, things to complete. So here I can choose to immediately skip the next mission, but I'm going to continue playing. Make sure I did everything, because sometimes there are secondary objectives, but uh, not this time. And sometimes you can also just destroy ships for bonus uh, experience for the captains, but uh, I think I did everything here, so let's move on. Uh, how'd we do? I think they got promoted. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they each got a promotion. Uh, Hus killed three ships, so Hus is ahead in terms of experience. Stardate 50975.2. The evacuation of the colonists from the Cardassian border was a success. Most of them have been relocated to new homes on Federation worlds. But this isn't the time to be patting ourselves on the back. I've just received some very disturbing news from Starfleet Command. Captain Sisko's decision to place cloaked mines at the mouth of the Bajoran wormhole, thereby cutting off the Dominion's forces in the Alpha Quadrant from receiving any reinforcements from the Gamma Quadrant, has pushed the Dominion to launch an all-out offensive on Station Deep Space Nine. The Dominion badly outnumber us in this sector, so the decision has been made to surrender Deep Space Nine while we and the fleet fall back and regroup. None of us are happy about giving up the station, but mark my words, we'll be back, and with a vengeance. The timing on this one's going to be a bit tricky. We have to protect the personnel transports while we beam the Starfleet crew and Federation citizens off Deep Space Nine, then shepherd them out of the sector. But the enemy is already on the move. Intercept and destroy the first wave of Jemadar fighters, and don't let them get anywhere near our transports. But whatever happens, you and the last of the transports have to hit those exit markers before the rest of the Dominion fleet arrives. Several personnel transports will dock with DS9 and then head for the exit markers. Make sure they escape safely. Destroy as many Jem'Hadar fighters as you can. Their first wave is mainly reconnaissance ships, but they will attack any Federation ships in the area. Once the Dominion fleet arrives, head for the exit markers at your best possible speed. You're vastly outnumbered, and I don't want any of you trying to be heroes. Yet. Your task force will consist of two Sabre-class starships and two Steamrunner-class ships. Good luck, and we'll see you at the rendezvous point near Deneva. Alrighty. So this was a big event of the TV show where, uh, briefly, the, the enemies from the Dominion were able to take Station Deep Space Nine where the, where the show takes place. Uh, and I think it was like half a season of them holding it, the station before, it wasn't half a season, it was a few episodes where the, basically the bad guys took over the, the fort uh, and then the good guys had to come back later and take it over. But this is the beginning of that, where they evacuate the station because they're going to get overwhelmed. Um, so yeah, so this basically follows that part of the plot. And let's, let's dive in here. So I think we're going to keep these two steam runners and add a third one. So let's get another captain in there. Steam runners are a class two ship, I believe. Yeah, class two. What do we have available for a class two? Why is this class two guy so expensive? That's weird. I was right about Dax and Hustle, I think. No, they weren't promoted yet. They're still uh, lieutenant commanders. But anyway, they got bumped up in rank, it seems, so. All right, we're going to bring along... Wait, how much do I have? I have 3,000 credits. I guess we're going to bring along... Bechuch? Should we bring along somebody else? The Lucky is way down there. Garen, Lucara. Wait, Lucara? Huh, I think, I think that might be a character from the TV show. Uh, but again, I'm trying to create. I'm trying to build a fleet of uh, all women. Oh, Bentine is too expensive. I think. Insufficient credits. How much was Bichuch? Oh yeah, she was a lot more less expensive to, to staff the ship. Yeah, I think this is it. We're gonna keep these three. 
Uh, let's just go. So again, we're doing that. All right, zoom out for a moment. Interesting. All right, I'm just I'm just looking at my notes here, so I have to take Steam one. Runner ship. selected. Confirmed. Oh wait, no, my bad. Affirmative. I was I, DS Nine is this dot on the map up here. Uh, and the transports are going to head for this exit point down the south end of the minimap. Uh, the main thing, though, is I need to try to protect these freighters from being from attacks. Hmm. All right. Well. So basically, each freighter is going to head toward the station, and I have to make sure that they survive. Warp signature detected. All right, that's one away, and now I think that's the bad guy showing up. Yeah, it is. So, like I said, I have to kind of keep an eye on the situation to make sure that they don't uh, overwhelm us. Are they headed for the station or are they headed toward me? I think they're headed toward me. Oh, somebody is shooting somebody. Cardassian fighter detected. Confirmed. Noran detected. Confirmed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. So I have to be careful because the like this freighter is going toward the station, but there's a couple of enemies over there. Warp signature detected. What? Cardassian fighter detected. Moron detected. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. All right, good, good, good. Destination Attack. confirmed. Genital fighter. Detected. Detected. Enemy ship destroyed. Cardassian fighter. Detected. Attack confirmed. Destination. All right. Well, I'm bailing. I think that's too many enemies. Well, we can pick Enemy off some of these at least. Steam runner selected. Attack confirmed. Oof. Steam runner selected. Steam runner selected. Are they coming toward us? I don't think they are. Group one selected. Steam group selected. All right, I'm getting bombarded. Attack confirmed. Yeah, I think we have to start getting it up. 
Proceeding to coordinates. There we go. Three versus one. Hope for the best. Steam runner destroyed. No. Attack confirmed. Uh, it's not great to lose a ship, but it doesn't mean the captain's dead. It just means they, they, they're not going to get the experience they would have gotten otherwise. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack right. confirmed. Yeah, I shouldn't have separated the ships. It's a lesson to learn in this game. Generally, it's better to keep everyone together. This is working in terms of keeping them occupied on this side instead of at the station. Affirmative. Attack confirmed. I feel like the attack is moving very slowly. That was a good barrage. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Well, we did something. Now I have to destroy the ships. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. All right, pretty good. I think I also killed everyone, right? I'm going to need all the credits I can get because I lost the ship, so... Let me make sure. I feel like there's somebody sitting out there. Yeah, there is. Destination confirmed. Steam runner selected. Group one selected. Jem'Hadar strike cruiser detect attack confirmed. Alright, that's the last freighter getting away. They're not even attacking, what the hell? Enemy ship destroyed. This game is not the most stable, so if there's a bug or two in the game, uh, I'm not surprised. That's it. Killed everybody, took care of everything. As far as I know. Now we can just uh, bail. I wonder who we lost. Was it Bechuch? I think it was Bechuch. Yeah, see? Uh, Bechuch did not get a resource bonus. I think because the ship got destroyed. Uh, but she but got the most kills. So, let's hope things balance out okay. Stardate 51143.2. The war has been going badly for Starfleet during the past few months. The Dominion has seemed to know our every move. Even the Klingons' cloaked fleets have been intercepted. Every day, we grow weaker while the Dominion seems to grow stronger. Well, now we know how the Dominion stayed one step ahead of us. 
They have a sensor array hidden in an asteroid field within the Argolis cluster, just a few light years from Beta Z. This sensor array has proved capable of detecting ships, cloaked or uncloaked, throughout six sectors. And it's a major source of the Dominion's military intelligence. Well, now it's time for us to lower their IQ a few points. Your mission profile is to enter the area under cloak. Locate and neutralize the hidden shield generators. Destroy enemy vessels and orbital weapons platforms, and ultimately, blow up that sensor array. We've added a tachyon disruption field to the Defiance cloaking device to help it avoid detection by the sensor array. Because these modifications will only work aboard the Defiant, it will have to complete this mission alone, deep behind enemy lines. The Starfleet Corps of Engineers has asked me to warn you that the sensor array is highly adaptive, and it will eventually learn how to penetrate your improved cloaking device. We have no way of knowing how long your cloak will remain effective, so work quickly. The sensor array is defended by a squadron of Jem'Hadar fighters, as well as by an undetermined number of orbital weapons platforms and a series of hidden shield generators. I won't lie to you about your chances, Captain. So I'll just say, good luck. Okay. You might die, probably, so good luck with that. Uh, that's cool, though. I think we got this. So this, this is a unique mission because it's basically... You get to use a hero unit, right? You only get one ship, the Defiance. Uh, and since you're going to take out uh, the Defiant, you might as well pick uh, a good captain, uh, Captain Cisco. Why not? Uh, and then we can just load it up with all the all the things. Let's get some of those, some of those, more of those, more of those, more of those. Um, and that was just me adding like extra devices that kind of boost the stats. So I basically improved the weapons, damage, and the maneuvering speed. So that should put us in a pretty good place. Group one, set. set. Group one, consisting of one. All right, so I got to figure out where to go. So the target is the triangle there in the middle, but I am pretty sure it's going to be quite well defended. Uh, the other tricky part is anytime there's an asteroid field like this, you cannot warp around in there because they will blow up your ship. It doesn't matter if there's actually an asteroid physically in front of your ship. If you try to warp through, they'll, they'll blow it up. So, so we're not going to go that way, at least initially. We're going to go out to the edge of the map that way. So instead of going down the middle, we're going to go around the outside and see if we can pick off some of the outer defenses first. Uh, looks like we have something out on the edge there. Cardassian fighter detected. Really? What is this? Oh, that's a shield generator for those weapons platforms. Uh, a weapons platform being just like a, a floating gun that, you know, shoots right at you when you're nearby. So we're trying to avoid dealing with those. We have to take those down, but I think they're each going to have ships guarding them. So where am I again? Affirmative. Wait, what? Huh? Attack oh, there's a ship. Let's, uh, let's shoot the target the engines on this guy. Are we hitting it? I don't even know. Where is that ship going? I don't even know. Well, they seem to be a lot faster than I am, so I'm not even going to try to chase them down. Because I don't think it's worth it. Well, what if we do this? Let's warp Attack. straight to them. No way. They're gone. They're gone and they just made me... Affirmative. ...lose uh, 
my progress that I was trying to make. But fortunately, I don't think warp or warp speed is a finite resource. I think you can just use it whenever you need it. So I will do that. Alright, um, I don't want to risk warping any further, so let's go at slow speed that way. Or full, full impulse. Full speed. Uh, there is a lot of UI. Like I, like I was saying earlier, th this stuff on the far right is like the tactical moves. Detected. Where? Where? Attack. It's another one of those class one ships. It's also going to run. This is really confusing. Alright, I'm not going to chase this one. Where am I? Destination confirmed. Attack confirmed. Attack confirmed. We are so far away. How could they even see that? Am I even damaging it? Looks like I am. Attack confirmed. Destination confirmed. Let's get closer. I think that's a little too far away. Because I don't know, the aim seems to be completely off. Attack confirmed. You can see here the shield being weakened because I'm targeting the shields. We'll see if that does anything. Alright, let's target the engines now, see if that helps. I mean, cool. Attack confirmed. Oh, okay. Now they're coming to me. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. But they're all class one, so. Destroyed. All right, we took out one of the shield generators, and I think there's three of them. There's one way over there. Uh, I'm gonna go pick Destination on confirmed. whatever that was. And again, so much of this game really is just wandering the stars very slowly, target to target. Destination confirmed. Jemadar fighter detected. Attack confirmed. Oh, what is that? That was a UFO. Attack confirmed. Cardassian fighter detected. Is that right? Where is it? Oh, it's out there. All right, one at a time, one at a time. Ooh, that was a good shot. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Destination confirmed. Getting some good hits.
Oh, somebody saw us. Cardassian fighter detected. Confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Unable to send attacks. Were those even hitting? It seemed like they missed. Attack confirmed. Oh, interesting. Look. Here you can see what it is physically. It's a big asteroid. But from the front, it only shows you the icon. It's weird. Where is that third shield generator? I thought there was three. What are my objectives again? Enemy ship destroyed. Destroy the sensor array. Enemy ship destroyed. Oh, oh. Oh, that was a, I think that was all three of them. But that was all of them. So, um, so basically blowing up all those shield generators just blew up a bunch of their orbital weapons platforms that were guarding the middle. So now I just have to make my way toward Proceeding that. to coordinates. But I need to watch for the ships because I cannot get surrounded. Uh, basically for the same reason when I surround them, I easily defeat them. Is if, I, if I get into the Jazz middle of the fighter detected oh. Proceeding to coordinates. If I get into a big Confirm. fight, it might take me out. What are we talking about? A bunch of class ones? Yeah, class one. Sometimes it looks like they crash right into you, but there's vertical. There's a vertical dimension to this too, so sometimes they just fly under or over. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Space combat in this game is also just so subdued compared to the TV show. In the show, you know, they're zipping around each other and circling and chasing and stuff. Here, you just sit there. And Enemy ship destroyed. Sit there and shoot. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Wow, that was immediate. Affirmative. Wait, what? No, I'm trying to. Enemy ship destroyed. Proceeding to coordinates. Attack confirmed. Pretty cool that if you do zoom in, you do get a lot of detail on the ships. I mean, it's a low-res model, but, you know, it still looks pretty good. You can read the text, it's, it's something. And that, of course, is the ship I have here in the lower, in the corner. Here, here, here. Uh, there. 
there, 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 there. Anyway, you can see it. I'm gonna keep playing for a moment just to take out whatever that is in the distance. Because I I want all that I want all that experience. The credits. What? Oh. Defiant selected. Proceeding to coordinates. And again, I cannot warp through without risking hey, whoa, hold on. Don't crash. Confirmed. Attack confirmed. I forgot to mention that this is also a multiplayer game. Uh, and that's where all of the tactical stuff makes more sense. Because, uh, you know, in a multiplayer game, you're, you're, you are thinking a little more strategically and tactically about what you're doing. The campaign is just... Um, the missions are also simple, that it's, it's not needed as much. I don't think I'm doing any damage. There it is. Enemy ship destroyed. There we go. All right, that is a cleaned up map. Uh, I should also note, while well, I'm noting things, that uh, I am playing on the easiest possible mode because uh, me dying repeatedly is not very fun to watch. Uh, that's it for this map, though. That might explain why the AI isn't as, you know, responsive to attacks and such. If I'm playing on the easy mode, then it might not be, uh, they just might not be as active. But you know what? I cheated myself and I can live with it. Stardate 51151.2. With a Dominion sensor array in the Argolis cluster destroyed, Starfleet has already begun seeing less Dominion interference in its tactical operations along the border. Despite these gains, for every two Jemadar ships we destroy, three new ones take their place. I regret that I am forced to agree with General Martok's assessment of the enemy's shipbuilding capability as impressive. The Klingons do not impress easily. But once they are, they act quickly. General Martok amassed a sizable fleet of Klingon vessels and is making a surprise assault on the Dominion shipyard at Dozaria Prime. Unfortunately, our long-range sensors have detected a large Dominion attack force heading for the Klingon border. With so many of the Klingon's forces committed to the attack on the shipyard, they'll be unable to repel such a massive Dominion offensive. And right now, we aren't strong enough to defend our borders and theirs at the same time. The Klingon attack fleet must be alerted, so it can turn back to defend its border from the Dominion fleet. However, the Klingon ships are cloaked and maintaining strict communication silence. Only Klingon subspace radio relays transmit on the proper frequency to reach the cloaked attack group. These relays will be the Dominion's first targets when their first wave of ships reach the Klingon border. We have to use those relays to send a signal to the Klingon attack fleet then defend those relays from Dominion attack until the Klingons confirm they've received the signal and are moving to intercept the Dominion's larger second wave of attack ships. Defend the Klingon subspace radio relays in this sector, which will be used to send a warning message to the Klingon fleet. Keep your ships near the relays until the Klingons confirm receipt of the message. Your computer will alert you when the signal is confirmed. Destroy the first wave of Jemadar ships, which will seek to destroy the relays. Do not let that happen. If the relays are destroyed, the Klingon fleet will not receive the warning. 
Remember to split your forces up to protect the maximum number of subspace arrays in order to ensure that the message is delivered quickly. Good luck. The fate of the Klingon Empire is in your hands. Your task force will consist of three Sabre-class starships, two Steamrunner-class ships, and one Akira-class cruiser. Let's hope you deliver the message in time, Captain. Good luck. Oh, boy. <laughs> this guy loves to chat. Uh, okay, so... We have to alert the Klingons so that they can come back and take care, take care of their business. But I also have to defend the sensors on the left side of this area here. Uh, it's all very doable. We can do it. All right, Cisco and the Defiant are out. Actually, that's interesting. Could I keep the Defiant if I wanted? Like if, if I... Oh yeah, I guess I could keep using them. But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna use the Akira's instead. Where is it? Where is... Let's try three of them. Two of the steam runners. So we're gonna need quite a few for this mission. Alright, now captains. So uh, like I said, we're trying to build an all all lady force. That's not the official name. So these are class what are these? Class three. So I need class I need class three people. Uh, we have quite a few. Oh, look, Hus. Hus got promoted way the heck up there. So, I think we want Hus, because we want to keep building her up. Because that's one of the things about the game, too, is, uh, at least with the captains, you want to build, you, you want to have enough admirals to captain, to be the captains for the highest ranking or highest level ships uh, in the later part of the campaign. So, and that means you do have to build up some people and get them promoted. Uh, up through the ranks. So Hus is a commander now. She's coming along for this mission too. Uh, who else do we have? Uh, Baj. Who are you, Baj? Uh, I think you're going to come along as well. And then we need one more for the class threes. Uh, Benti, you're the one. There's Worf. But uh, sorry, sorry, Worf, we're not going to we don't need you. All right, so now we're in class twos, which means I can add a few class two people that I already had before anyway, so. Dax and Bachuch. Who else, who else is down here anyway that I could have promoted? Balecki, yeah, Balecki gets left behind. Yeah, so, so does Ngarin and Lucara. They all get left behind. We're gonna be sticking with Dax, Bachuch, and Benteen from the lower ranks, and then Baj and Hus. And that means I have enough money left for devices. Let's see what devices we have. This is, it's all Federation ships. What do we have available? All right, everybody gets a shield, first of all. All right, and then everybody gets a speed boost? Sure. Okay. And then the final thing is everybody's going to get a phaser extender. Insufficient oh. credits. Not Dax, but the rest of them do. I think that's a pretty good setup for the mission. So let's zoom out. Akira, Akira selected. selected. All right, you are group, group one. One, Steam Center selected. You are group two. Noren detected. Group two, two set. All right, I'm going to check my objectives real quick. Okay, so I'm going to have to get, I have to divide up a little bit here because I think you have to move pretty quickly. I have to get one group up to this objective marker at the top because that's how you warn the Klingons so that they can get you know, get back here and defend their their homeland, and then um, and then I also have to deal with the sensor arrays being defended for a little bit. So here's what we're gonna do. Group one. Group one. 
You're gonna go Destination here. Destination confirmed. Tonga detected. Group two. Group two. You're gonna go up that way. Confirmed. Group one selected. So group two, who I split off, uh, Bechuch and Dax, they're gonna go deal, get the alert sent out. But this other group, Cardassian group one, detected. group one's gonna go defend the sensor array for a little while. But yeah, I have to keep an eye on group two. Fighter detected. Oh, I forgot. Group one selected. Group one, go for the engines. Group two selected. Group two, also go for the engines. Group one selected. Group two selected. Group two needs to get Destination there. Confirmed. Group one selected. Detected. All right, group one, let's do this. Attack confirmed. All right, they'll, they'll do that for a while. So at some point there's going to be a signal that it's time for everybody to retreat back to the Klingon planet, but uh, I'll tell you when we get there. Attack confirmed. Alright, that's that confirms that group two has accomplished their mission. Now group two is gonna go here. Enemy ship. Group one selected. Attack. Oh. There's the sign. Alright. Confirmed. Group two selected. Destination confirmed. All right, that's it. That warp signature on the left of the map, that's the bad guys. They're coming up to attack, uh, and they need to, and they're going toward the planet, so I need to head back there to defend it. All right, group two. Group two selected. Proceeding to coordinates. Group one selected. Affirmative. All right, I'm just making sure everyone regroups. Let's... Group three set. All right, that's everybody. Is that the platform? Yeah, so that platform has to be defended uh, at all costs, basically. And, every, and there's a bunch of bad guys coming in to take it out. All right, where are you? Nice, good little formation there. Oh, here they come. Detected. Attack confirmed. Jamhadar fighter detected. Akira destroyed. What? Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. What? How did I lose anybody? Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. That makes no sense. How did I lose a ship? My, my mind is reeling right now. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. All right, so we're def we we defended this thing. That's good. I I really don't know what to make of that ship blowing up. Why did it explode? Who was it? Is it? It wasn't. It was um. Baj. I think was her name. Yeah, I think it was Baj. Uh, again, that that character's not dead, but it does mean Klingon fleet detected. 
There we go. So they're coming in to defend the their, their, their territory here. We'll just wait them out. Uh, but yeah, that means that the, the captain whose ship was lost is not going to get experience. Uh, and again, I'm trying to promote people to be admirals, so that's no bueno. But uh, that's fine. We can deal with one loss. Also, this is some BS because you can see that they're going to warp through the asteroid field. Uh, I'm not allowed to do that. I always lose ships when I do. Morsha detected. Burrell detected. Well, welcome to the party. Thank you for joining. Katinga detected. This is like, you know, I'm, I'm here detected. protecting their home. So, uh, we're not done. I'm going to wait for all of them to arrive first. What is this? Oh, it's the sensor right down there. We're going to go take out this group of characters out there, because I want the extra credit. Oh, whoa. I, there's bad guys showing up. I didn't expect that. Attack confirmed. Jem'Hadar fighter. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. All right, good, good, good. Enemy ship. Enemy ship destroyed. Anybody left? Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. I think that was everybody. It looks like this whole group's gonna move toward Confirmed. us. Well, let's go meet them. And Klingons, are you coming with me? Uh, I cannot tell. Doesn't seem like it. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. 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 Alright, let's take out that class 2 and then I can focus on the class 3 up here. Enemy ship attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. So Enemy slow. Alright, good. Who's left? Enemy There's somebody out. Alright, that's everybody in the immediate group. Attack confirmed. The Klingons are trying to steal my kill. It's not cool. Enemy ship destroyed. All right, I think now I'm going to head toward Affirmative. the areas that I missed. 
just to see if there's any stragglers, which I don't think there are going to be. Yep, yep. They basically just took out the sensor array that was in the middle. Confirmed. I think I'm I'm pretty sure I'm done. I just I just want to clean up any any outliers. AKA my OCD will not allow me to move on uh, unless I've made sure there's nobody left. Confirmed. Apparently there's a st strike cruiser down there somewhere. Let's find out where they are. Oh, you know what? I don't want to crash into anything. So let's, Proceeding let's, to coordinates. let's go out to the edge a little bit. Proceeding to coordinates. Yeah, I think we're all dead. Look, the Klingons aren't even coming with me. I'm just going to hang back. Yeah, there's nobody left. All right. So, let's see what we got here. Nobody got a resource bonus. Uh, yeah, Baj. Baj only got 38 experience because she got taken out. Um... Huss only got one kill. That's interesting. Bentine. Bentine and Dax. Looks like they took... Yeah, they, they took almost all the kills. Uh, which is fine. You know. They are all... Uh, commanders? I think Three Dots is Commander. Yeah, they're all Commanders now, so... They're all rank 3 at least. So, let's get them to rank 4. Stardate 51795.3 our operatives on Cardassia have informed us that the Obsidian Order, the elite military intelligence unit of the Cardassian government, has regrouped from its losses at the Omarian Nebula. Their first order of business is the public execution of Lieutenant Thomas Riker, a Starfleet officer turned Maquis, whom they captured three years ago after he stole the Defiant and attempted to attack an Obsidian Order shipyard in the Orias system. The terms of Riker's surrender made it clear that he was not to be executed, but would instead be sentenced to life imprisonment on Lazon II. Unfortunately, with the war heating up, the Obsidian Order no longer seems interested in honoring its agreements with us. Starfleet still doesn't condone Riker's actions with the Maquis, but this is war, and we need skilled commanders like him. Besides, we can't just let the Obsidian Order execute him. The time has come to bring our man home. The plan is simple. We need to get Tom Riker away from the Obsidian Order before they reach Cardassia. Riker is being transported to Cardassia Prime aboard a convoy of Keldon-class ships controlled by the Obsidian Order. Your orders are to intercept the convoy, determine which ship Riker is on, knock out its shields, beam him aboard, and return to Federation space as quickly as possible. Once you've safely passed the exit marker, you'll be home free. The brig aboard a Keldon-class starship is located near the main cargo area. Although it's heavily shielded, you'll be able to get a lock on Lieutenant Riker, thanks to one of our undercover operatives who secretly injected him with a nanotransponder for which only we have the frequency. The convoy will raise its shields the moment they detect you on long-range sensors, so you'll have to focus your efforts on destroying the shield generators of the ship carrying Riker. Once their shields are down, beam Lieutenant Riker aboard immediately. Rescuing Tom Riker is your chief objective, but I can assure you the brass at Starfleet Command would be very happy if you also destroyed the convoy once you have Riker aboard. Let's send the Cardassians a message about honoring their agreements. You should know going in that this will be a difficult mission. That's why we're sending you in with firepower. Three Akira-class ships, 
two Katinga-class Klingon heavy cruisers and one Burrell-class Klingon bird of prey. Use their cloaking technology to scout the sector more effectively, and when the time comes, to lay an ambush for the convoy. Good luck, and good hunting. Wow. That's a very Federation thing. Like, he's upset that they didn't uh, honor their agreement. Grr, how dare they not follow the rules? That's mean of them. Um, very common sentiment these days, I think, among uh, politicians. Anyway, let's stick to Star Trek politics while we're in here. So, uh, yeah, Mission 5 uh, here, the Federation, is really it's a two-parter, like you saw. I have to rescue Riker, uh, which is not the Riker from the Enterprise. This is Thomas Riker, his... Um, his clone, basically. He, he's an exact duplicate of Riker that was created through sci-fi shenanigans. Um, and he became a rebel who tried to take out some Cardassian uh, ships or shipyards, but he got captured and arrested by them. So, so now basically we have an experienced officer who they're going to execute and we have to get him out of there. And after that we have to blow up as many of their ships as we can. Um, what am I bringing with me? Uh, let's see what we have available. Ooh, Vorcha. Do I have the Vorcha? Yeah, I can buy one. How many Vorchas can I fit? I wonder. Let's take it one at a time. So Vorcha is a class 3. No, it's a class 4. Do we have any class 4 captains available? Uh, no, no, it's a class 5. Class 5, class 4. Oh, Kira. Let's put Kira in a Klingon ship. Why not? Whatever. Uh, logic does not apply here. Let's get some Akiras in there. I don't think I'll be able to afford two Vorches. Although, let's, let's, let's try it. Look at that. How much money do I have left? 57k. Let's see if that's enough. So I need a second class 4 person. Which I don't think I have anyone else. Yeah, they're all class 3. So, never mind. We'll stick with the Akira's, because again, I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to build up my, the people that I'm getting promoted. So, who are my best class three folk? Uh, Benty for sure, Dax for sure, us. I'm guessing this is going to have to be Baj. Oh, I have to choose between Bechuch and Baz. Who's better? Oh, all right. Sorry, Baj is the one. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Uh, what else do we have to do? I have to bring along some marines because we're gonna have to steal, some, capture some ships. Let's load the. the on on Aba Bay Bubble All right. So, so remember that the the Klingon ship is the one that has a bunch of. Uh, security folk to capture a ship. Now let's load up on devices. Give them that. Give them combat triage. Give them batleth. Um, and this is all for the security crew. Like all these items I'm adding here. It's just so that the crew I send over to capture ships uh, are last longer, are more capable, I guess. So that's that for them. How many people do they have? 200. 200 people? That's good. Everyone else has the standard amount of 80. Which I think is going to be fine. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Alright, let's give everyone uh, some extra ship items. Oh, no. Not the phaser extend. This is a Klingon ship. Give them the hardening. Give them the AI targeting. And then give them the phaser extend. Give them the meta shields. 
Meta shield. Meta shield. Meta shield. Then phaser. 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 Um. Uh. What's, what's the final good thing to do? I'm gonna put some more crew on board of this one. All right, and because they have more crew, I'm gonna give them more stuff. Phaser rifle, combat triage, batleth. I don't think I need batleth. So I have to click on ship. What else is good? Another phaser, another shield. Why not? Another phaser. Credits. All right, that's it. Actually, that's not it. I can afford to boost their speed. I can afford to boost their speed. And I think that's about it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, no, but they're not clicking on ships, so I can't give the that thing. All right, I'm going to save the game real quick. Zero. We're going to call this one, I don't know. I have to name them a certain way because you can see that the, the, they get listed by name and I can't scroll down. Oh, now the scroll bar works. Okay. <laughs> it didn't used to work. Um, this would be, uh, what is this, mission five, I think we're on? This would be uh, AO5, which you can see I already have, but I'll replace it. All right, I think we're good to go. Zoom out. Pause the game for a moment. All right, so actually, hold on. First of all, selected group one set. All right, group one. So we have to track down a particular ship, and it's easy to tell which one it is because the ship with Riker is has like a thousand personnel on it. Uh, and every other Keldon ship we're going to run into has like 300 or so. So it'll be easy to find. It's just a, a waiting game of uh, getting to that point. All right, uh, just looking at my notes. Uh, da, da, da. So there's a planet way off in the top left corner. That's where they're going to execute Riker. So I have to basically sit in the space in between and stop all the ships uh, and and then capture the one ship that I do need. So that's what I'm working on now. Let's do that. Let's go out here. To coordinates. It's a big, it's a big battlefield too. Cause look how they're moving at warp and look how slowly they're moving toward the target here. Passing by somebody. I wonder who that is. Whatever. Uh, the reason I'm going left instead of straight there is I want to avoid crashing into the planet. Because like I, as I've said before, uh, the AI in this game Confirmed. are a bunch of idiots. And, uh, you know, again, the AI should know, like, don't just head straight into the planet, go around it. But... No, sometimes they need a human hand, human brain to tell them where to go. All right, so now we're going into the space between planets to intercept anybody coming through. Keldon detected. Oh, see, look at that already. Akira selected. Affirmative. Attack confirmed. Uh, all right. So it's one it's not the one we want. So now we're just going to attack. Confirmed.
Uh, it might get a bit chaotic, because Kelvin class ships are going to keep showing up uh, in the middle of all this. I just have to keep... I uh, have to be ready to respond to each one as they show up. Enemy ship destroyed. Uh, and yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna destination wait. confirmed. We're just gonna form up, wait for more of them to show up. Affirmative detected. Tonga detected. Confirmed. Attack confirmed. Yep, we can we can take it on. It only has three hundred people. Enemy ship Attack destroyed. Confirmed. And then for the Tongas, I mean, we're not, that's not what we're looking for, so we can just take those out right away. Looks like another Keldon is headed this way. Alright, let's see what Attack we got. Confirmed. That's not the one we want. I get the destroyed. feeling that's going to be the one, so I'm going to switch to shield attack only. Attack confirmed. Oh, that's not the one either. All right. So like four or five? I feel like I should be right, right. Like there should be uh, the Riker ship coming up pretty soon. If that, if that's not it right there. Enemy ship destroyed. Confirmed. Yeah, let's screw it up a little bit more. See what this. Keldon detected. Attack confirmed. That's the one. So we have to get ready to hold fire as soon as the shield goes down. Stop. Kira. Selected. All right, so I just beamed over everybody on the um, fortress ship. I think now we just have to wait. Oh, again. Confirmed. These morons sometimes wander off. You don't want them to. I need you all to just, just chill. So wait for this business to have to be done so we can claim the captured ship and get it out of here. And again, if I hadn't told them to hold fire, they would just keep, you know, shooting at the target. Keldon captured. Like a bunch of idiots. Alright, where's the Keldon? Keldon there it is. selected. So the alright. So the other thing you have to do selected. is beam over the appropriate Personnel. Kelvin selected. So that the ship can warp out of here. So now we're gonna Proceeding go. Proceeding to coordinates. So now, so Riker's on that ship. We're gonna get it out of here. So that it's out of harm's way. Uh, and then Group One. Group One selected. Selected. Group One selected. Group One's gonna go ahead and clean up the rest of this rabble as, as they appear. Destination confirmed. Affirmative. We 
There should be some kind of enemies. Or, there they are. Yeah, I knew there was something on this planet. Destination confirmed. So this is going to be one of those maps where uh, it's going to be pretty easy to clean up all the bad guys, all the enemies. So I'm probably. Oh no. Where's the Keldon class? Keldon selected. Affirmative. Get it out of there. Looks like some enemies are headed straight for it. Noran detected. All right, let's hope they don't get in the way. Group one selected. Confirmed. Attack confirmed. All right. Keldon detected. Keldon detected. <laughs> Ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Nope, we're gonna keep playing. I got some extra credits to accumulate. Attack Ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Whoa! The Vorch is taking a lot of hits from somebody. Why? destroyed all right we're not gonna we're gonna give the Vorcha some time to heal because or repair the shield because that, that took a lot of damage what is my joke still have to do some business here so let's do that attack confirmed Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Alright, this is another one of those touchy areas where you have to watch while you're flying so your ship doesn't smash into the planet. Enemy ship destroyed. Confirmed. Cardassian fighter detected. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Destination confirmed. Wait a minute. Keldon selected. Keldon selected. Is the Keldon class still? Why aren't they gone? Oh, I didn't go far enough. And proceeding to coordinates. The heck out of here, ship. Jeez. Confirmed. Cardassian Wait. fighter detected. Are you kidding me? Where's the exit? Just go. Destination confirmed. Proceeding to coordinates. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Affirmative. That's. Group that. one selected. Morsha selected. I don't know why Group that ship selected. is still around. Destination confirmed. Except I did get the credit for it, right? Oh, I guess you just have to kind of wander toward that exit. Okay. Enemy ship destroyed. Well, as long as I'm not going to get attacked down there. All right, where's the planet? I think I want to go toward the planet. I feel like there's something to do up there. Akira selected. Group proceeding One selected. to coordinates. All right, cool. We're just gonna fly all Destination the confirmed. way up there.
So I'm going to go up there, check if there's anything at the planet worth doing. Then I have to take out those two patrols and this one ship. Way that it go. And then the Keldon with Riker on board is tucked away down there. It should be alright. Group 1 selected. Oh, never mind. There is nothing at the planet. All right, let's go. Cool. So let's go. Let's go. Um, fight Attack this confirmed. I just pressed the scan button, but I don't think I could scan during warp speed, so I think I have to wait. Oh, they're trying to run away. Attack confirmed. And they're a lot, or I don't know if they're a lot faster, but they seem to be somewhat faster than my fleet. Attack confirmed. What? Are we not going to catch confirmed. up here? Come on. Attack confirmed. Are you kidding me? Affirmative. I've never seen this before. How can I not catch up? Attack confirmed. Attack confirmed. Oh, am I still on hold fire? No, I'm not. Destination confirmed. I'm sorry. I'm dragging you along on this on this mission of mine. I have to track down this one ship and destroy it. Attack confirmed. That is proceeding to coordinates. Unbelievable. Full stop. Attack confirmed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Alright, somebody's coming up. Destination confirmed. Destination confirmed. Group 1 selected. Proceeding to coordinates. Attack confirmed. Just a random uh, weapons platform out there. Enemy ship destroyed. Keldon selected. Group 1 selected. Oh, that's my ship. Yeah, I don't know how to track down all these other Warpy McGee's that are just flying around. I don't think I'm going to get them. 
Yeah, forget it. All right. One last check of the objectives. All good. Let's move on. Uh, hey, there we go. Kira got promoted to Admiral. Benteen is now a captain. Dax is a captain. Huss and Baj uh, got left behind as lieutenant commanders, but uh, that's fine. We'll, we'll raise them up eventually. Uh, we completed all the objectives. That's good. Starting 52077.4. The Dominion is producing new Jem'Hadar soldiers in terrifying numbers. Each new soldier grows from inception to full maturity in a matter of days. Their skills at combat, their language, and their loyalty to the founders are all genetically encoded. They're perfect soldiers. They don't kill for greed, for revenge, or for honor. They kill for only one reason, to serve the founders. Some have asked how Starfleet could ever hope to defeat this kind of enemy. The answer is that the Jem'Hadar have one weakness, they are all born addicted to a narcotic known as Ketracel White. The founders control the supply of the white as a means of ensuring that the Jem'Hadar remain loyal only to them. The Vorta dispense the drug to the Jem'Hadar. Without it, the Jem'Hadar become uncontrollable and eventually weaken and die. And that is the Achilles heel we are about to exploit. We've, We've pinpointed, pinpointed the location of the Dominion's dang. largest Ketracel production facility in this sector. Your mission? Destroy it. The Ketracel White facility is located inside an asteroid belt in the Dorvan system. It's protected by an undetermined number of orbital weapons platforms and Dominion patrol ships. The exact location of the facility is unknown, so you'll have to do some reconnaissance prior to your attack. It will also be protected by shield generators hidden on nearby asteroids, so those must be neutralized as early as possible. This time, the task force is up to you, Captain. Take up to six ships of your choosing. Our intel on this target is sketchy, so I'd recommend you choose a combination of ships with different mission specialties. But whatever you choose, be ready for a fight. Good luck, Captain. Okay. Sorry, my nose was itching. So, uh, I have heard all that. I was wandering. My mind was wandering, but, but I mean, the objectives are there. I have to destroy the facility where they produce a drug that the soldiers need to, to live. And then I also have to destroy the sensor grid and the ships around them. And the map there kind of shows you the objectives. Objectives one and two. All right. So let's clear. Clear the slate. Start fresh with our uh, ship and captain selections. So what are my options here? Okay. Oh, we have we have a galaxy in the mix. Let's see if we have anybody, any admirals, because only an admiral can be the captain of a a class 5 ship. Let's see what we have. We have Nechev. Uh Actually, no. Let's put Kira in there. Or maybe Nechev. I wonder how many galaxies I can carry with me. And then how many class 3s do I have? I have... Can I squeeze in a couple of class 4s? Let's see if I have class four captains. Uh, what is Benteen? Uh, class four. Dax is a class four. And then we said we want to keep promoting some other people too. Who else do we have? Uh, oh, there's no way I can afford anything else. I can afford a Akira, but I don't think an, I can afford the captain for an Akira. Yeah, no way. Oh, I'm wrong. We can bring up, um, how much is Huss? Huss is 14k, Baj is 12k, Bachuch is uh, 8k. Hmm. I would prefer to bring along Huss or Baj since they... Insufficient yes. credits. What, what are her stats? Insufficient Just... credits. Insufficient credits. Hmm. I'm gonna think about that wall. Uh, 
again, I think I think this would be enough ships for the mission, but I I really do want to bring along uh, more people to level them up. Uh, there's no point in bringing a class two ship. Hmm. What if instead of that we do? Unable to comply. Oh, I can only bring one or two Vorchas, really? That's interesting. I can bring along an Akira. All right, hold on a second. Let's reset that. Yeah, I can only bring two Vorchas with me. All right, so let's let's get those class four folks in there. Oh, right. Except I want to keep leveling up uh, some of the some of these. So let's get Kira on that ship. Let's get Benting on that ship. And then, what if I throw in a couple of Kvorches, I guess, or a couple of Akiras? And then, the two characters I wanted to bring along were uh, definitely Dax. And then I think, there we go. I could bring along Baj or Hus. Although, Nechev's already a... Uh, hold on, let me clear that pair. Sorry, I'm very indecisive here, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to min-max this, I guess. All right. We want the gla we want the galaxy, and both Nechev and Kira are already admirals. So actually, I don't need either of them, except I do need somebody that I can bring along on the galaxy. So that's that, and then the two Borcha, and those are two class fours. So I need a couple of class four captains. And that would be Benteen and Dax. And actually, and then I can bring along, which, which ship is better? This one has better weapons, which I think might be more important. So let's bring along some Akiras. Maybe, th maybe I can bring along three of them. Let's see. So I need, um, so here I, I need to just add in the people that have been missing. So, Hus, Baj, and Bechuch. I think that's it, right? That's the six uh, ladies I've been trying to bring up to Admiral level. I think that's good. All right. So, the weakest ships are going to need the most uh, extra stuff to get by. So let's give them all bonus items. And then we have a couple of class fours. I feel like they won't need much in the way of bonuses, but maybe we can give them all a shield. That's good. All right, what else can I give them? Oh, I can give... Uh, except that thing is expensive, isn't it? It's 1400 I can't afford that. I forgot these are Klingon ships. Let's give them the right shields. Uh, I can give somebody the Disruptor. Or I can give I think one of them a better shield. Let's do that. That's good. So they each get two shields and a bonus phaser. They get shields. And they get shields. I think that's going to be good. Selected. Group one. Set. Right. What are we doing? Destroy the Ketrasol white plant. 
and destroy the communications grid. All right. So we are way at the bottom. And we have to make our, make our way over to the very top of this map. How are we going to get there? All right. I think we're going to start by going up toward Destination the confirmed. top right corner of the map here. And again, I can warp toward there, but I cannot warp within the asteroid field, so I have to be careful. Uh, I really hope I don't regret bringing along the, the three Akira class, or the class three ships, because um, I feel like they might be most at risk for getting taken out. Oh, we ran into somebody already. All right, what are we going to attack? Engines for Confirmed. sure. Confirmed. Oh, look, I passed some, some on the way up, kind of scattered. That's fine. I'm going to take out whatever is going on up here. Jem'Hadar Battlecruiser, detect and Jem'Hadar Battlecruiser. Enemy ship destroyed. Jem'Hadar Battlecruiser detected. Enemy ship destroyed. Affirmative. What? Attack. No. Confirmed. Attack. Ship destroyed. Affirmative. Okay, that's that's a good uh, first attack there. I see a couple of outliers. Somebody talked about the shield generators. There they are. There's three of them. Um, all right, that's fine. Oh, Affirmative. I thought they were headed towards something. I'm just making sure I'm following the right strat here. But yeah, I think we're good. Proceeding to coordinates. I'm guessing this is more random ships. It's kind of floating around out there. Galor detected. What? Attack oh. confirmed. Je Ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Okay. You know, as of the recording, uh, the date of this recording, GOG um, teamed up with or worked with Activision to release a bunch of their old Star Trek games, including what I think are considered much better RTS games, uh, Star Trek Armada 1 and 2. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to play them because I'm confirmed. really 
just focusing on Deep Space Nine because I could, uh, I could, I lose my mind trying to play all the Star Trek games, but but they're out there. Star Trek Armada, I think, is supposed to be a lot better than this in terms of like a Star Trek RTS. Look at that, wandering off again. Attack. I'm telling you, these. I don't know what to make of that. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Destination confirmed. All right, cool. Except Affirmative. Let's get that Akira back in the group because it's going too far ahead. Affirmative. Attack confirmed. Oh, that's it. We're not staying. Let's go. Unable to comply. Confirmed. Yeah, I just wanted to take out the shield. I don't need to fight them all. Not yet, anyway. All right, let's go. Out. Oh, there. Confirmed. Is somebody chasing us? Oh yeah, they did. Attack confirmed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Confirmed. Good, good. Okay. Kill everybody. Enemy ship destroyed. Proceeding to coordinates. All right. Back on track. I need to. Nope. Destination Crash. confirmed. Don't do it. Affirmative. Destination confirmed. Where's the other shield generator? There it is. Uh, I don't want to come at this. Unable to set course. Yeah, let's go around these rocks. I don't want to bump into those. Uh, you can see they're trying to. They're trying to navigate around the rocks. They don't want to. They don't want to crash, but sometimes they do. Affirmative. Affirmative. All right. Which one is the shield generator? It's that one right there. Affirmative. Attack confirmed. All right, as soon as this blows up, I'm getting out of here. Enemy ship affirmative. Destroyed. What? If you say so. Proceeding to coordinates. Actually, yeah, I think a bunch of platforms just got blown up because of the they lost the shield generator. So yeah, it does work. One more to Affirmative. go. Affirmative.
Oof, don't do it. No. Look at look at that. Look at this guy. What are you doing? Affirmative. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack and the ship, ship destroyed. destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Unable to comply. Affirmative. Alright, so on this side we have some... Cardassian fighter detected. Enemy ship destroyed. Gaylor detected. Tonga attack confirmed. Destroyed. I think that's kind of. Enemy oh no, we haven't completed destroyed. either objective. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Don't do it. Enemy ship destroyed. All right. Is there anybody else out here? No, that was it. Anybody else out there? Oh yeah, there is. Well, we'll get out there eventually. Confirmed. For now, we're just going to start making our way through this bunch of stuff. Destination confirmed. Attack confirmed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Ooh. It's a good explosion. I'd say that's a plus Enemy. in this game's uh, graphics department. The explosions are really good. Attack confirmed. Group 1 selected. Enemy confirmed. ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship Attack destroyed. Confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Cl 
cleaned them up pretty good. Let's go out and take out Attack this one. Attack confirmed. Galaxy. Enemy ship destroyed. Group 1 selected. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. <coughs> Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship. Confirmed. How's that for commentary? Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Yeah, I, I guess I don't know if I really destroyed. Oh, I did the thing. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I need this many bonus kills, but um, uh, okay, it just makes the later missions e easier or uh, better to get easier to get through if I uh, have a lot of credits to spend on bonus stuff. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take out. Yeah, that's it for objectives. I'm gonna go ahead and take out all this, all these guys out there. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. We were still kind of in the in the asteroid Nora field, detected. so gotta be sure. Attack confirmed. Uh, is this another chase? Are they gonna run? Attack. Confirmed. Sure looks like they're going to keep running. And then look, you have that rando out there. Gemstar detected. 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 Enemy ship destroyed. Confirmed. These all, oh, there's a class three right there. All right, that's nice. Enemy ship destroyed. Confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. All right, well, that was pretty good. Who's left? I want to say there was one rando, or did they all just fly to me? Oh, yeah, I think they all just flew toward my position. All right, we're good. All right, so in the end, we have four admirals now. I think that's two more. That's two more than last time. So I got two people promoted to, to admiral, one... Oh, Bechuch didn't get promoted. I think she was a commander last time. I think Baj was not a captain, though, so... One promotion, at least. Who didn't get a resource bonus, and why? It's weak. A lot of kills, though. What else did we get? Some some medals, which I think give bonuses of some kind. I, haven't, I don't know. I don't know if they work. 
Stardate 52319.6. First, the good news. The destruction of the Ketracel White facility has been a great success. The Dominion is already starting to take a less aggressive stance in several sectors, and their production of new Jem'Hadar soldiers has slowed by more than half. Now for the bad news. The Dominion seems to have lost faith in the Cardassians because they've formed a new alliance with the Breen. Despite our past conflicts with the Breen, we know very little about them or their technology. But if the Dominion sought an alliance with them, they clearly are more dangerous than we suspected. But we're not backing down now. As of today, a new Achilles-class starship, the USS Imperius, enters service with Captain Thomas Riker as her commanding officer. And I'm sure you'll be pleased to hear the Imperius will be joining you on your next mission. The arrival of the USS Imperius, coupled with our new alliance with the Romulan Empire, has led us to conclude the time is right to begin a full-scale counteroffensive. It's time to recapture Deep Space Nine and regain control of the Bajoran wormhole before the enemy neutralizes our cloaked minefield. You and your task force are going to lead the attack. Your task force will be the first wave to attack the ships defending the station. You'll be followed closely by Klingon and Romulan reinforcements. Our operatives on board DS9 will try to disable its weapons array before you arrive. You'll receive a signal to let you know when they've succeeded. You'll be escorting two troop transports to DS9. After you destroy the Dominion ships guarding the station, use your weapons to collapse the station's shields, then beam over the troops in the transports to secure the station. Once our troops have secured the station, you'll need to defend it from attacks by Dominion forces until our reinforcements arrive. Remember to defend your troop transports during your battle with the Dominion fleet. If you lose the transports, you won't have enough manpower to capture DS-9. Your task force will consist of the Achilles-class USS Imperius, one Galaxy-class starship, two Akira-class cruisers, and the two troop transports. This is going to be a hard fight, Captain. The Jemadar will fight to the death rather than surrender the station or give up control of the wormhole. But we must prevail here, or else all will be lost. We're counting on you. Good luck. Well, already. Um, I think I'm going to take a break, which means, uh, uh, well, I guess for you, it just means I'll be right back immediately. Okay. So on we go toward the final stretch of the game. I'm my, my final stretch position in this chair after sitting for too long in the other straight, straightforward positions though. Uh, yeah, let's. Let's lazily proceed to the final uh, stretch of this uh, campaign with the Federation. So, uh, let's see. Right. We're going to take back the station, which again, that happens on the show, uh, where it gets taken from them and then the Federation regroups and kind of uh, goes back in and takes it back from the, from the enemy. So now that's where we are. Uh, right. So we were building up a lot of ships, or a lot of captains anyway, getting them promoted. Let's clear the slates and start over and see what we can do. So we're up to mission seven. I feel like I don't think I can have all class five ships yet, but let's see how many we can get. All right. How are we doing on the admirals? I feel like I have quite a few uh, fresh faced admirals. Whoa, Benteen got promoted way the heck up there. Very expensive. 54k for Benteen. Let's do it. All right, who else do we have? We have Kira. Let's see if we can get Kira in there too. All right. Can we can we fit a third galaxy in the mix? Let's see. We have Nicheyev up there. Let's do that. That's pretty good. Three class fives. Um, in what is still you know a pretty good distance from the or ways from the final I think we can get two Vorches is that what I remember three Vorches all right let's see if I can get some class four folks in here what is Dax Dax is also an admiral 
Uh, let's put Dax in there. Let's put Hus in there. Uh, I don't think I can afford another one. No, I can't. Hmm. Do I want to go through with just five ships? Not sure. All right, we're talking class four here. So, oh, bye, she's going to get skipped because she's too expensive to fit here. And then, ah, oh, my chooch didn't get promoted. All right, that leaves me in a bad spot. Or I might have to use one of these, one of these dopes. Huraga, Count Tamang, and Riker. Ooh. Don't want to do it. Let me consider my options here. Benting is already top admiral, so maybe I don't need Benting. Unable to comply. In that position, after all, let's see. All right, if I get a galaxy, but there's no one else. Ex oh, actually, no, there is. Hus is my least expensive admiral so if you put her up front let's clear that ship out if we get another class 4 ship in there oh we have the achilles it's also a class 4 i didn't realize that what's the difference oh oh the difference is i can only have one all right hold on a second let me reset this i can only have one achilles that's fine Let's put Dax in there, I suppose. Except, again, Dax is already an Admiral, so I, she won't need more experience. But I do need to bring up Baj and Bechuch. So let's see if I can do that. All right, get a Vorcha in there. Where's Bechuch? He's hanging around at the low end. Really? Oh, no. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Oh, it does make sense. She's a class three. Oh man, I gotta, I feel like I gotta promote her too. At least so she can replace these dopes as captains. Who am I left with? Well, we know we can't do Benteen. We already talked about that. Did I skip Dax? Oh, hold on a second. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So we're doing class three ship. Oh man. So I didn't realize I'd want to min-max this experience so much, but I sure do. So again, because it's a class five, I need somebody. Let's put Dax in there. And let's get a third class five in there. Uh, it's going to have to be an Achea. All right. And then if I do, no, not that one. If you put the Achilles in there, who can I, which class four person can I throw in there? Baj, okay. And then if I get a Vorcha, is there anybody who's a class four that needs to be bumped? No, there isn't. Well, that's, hmm. Do I dare bring along some class threes? I don't know. Let's see. I guess that would be, which one's better that? The Akira for sure. So if we get a couple of Akiras, then we can put in a Chooch. And is there anybody, I have a lot of credits. Is there, no, I can't see. Yeah, I've, I've, I've promoted myself into a corner because everyone who's left, well, again, I'm, I'm trying to build a squad of uh, all ladies, uh, all women, but um, yeah, I, I kind of promoted beyond, so I, I can't really bring up anyone else. I think I just got myself into a corner here. 
But again, if the, if the objective was six admirals or women, we have one, two, three, four. So all I really need to focus on is bringing up, oh, five. All I need to do is bring up Baj. All I really need, yeah, Baj is really the one. So, let's get a Vorcha. No, let's clear that. Let's get another galaxy in there. Let's squeeze in. I guess another Admiral. Yep, Beichuch is going to hopefully get promoted to Captain. And then otherwise, who's the most cost-effective Admiral available? Kira? Kira. All right, that's good. So we'll get, hopefully get Baj promoted, and then get um, a huge promoter as well. And then we'll be in a pretty good place. So weakest ship is going to need a lot of stuff to keep up with everyone else. All right, I need, this is a Federation ship, which means it needs Federation shields. One, two. Some phaser extenders. Some speed boost. Alright, that's pretty good. Alright, what's the next weakest ship? Probably this one? Yeah, this one. Let's give them one of each. I don't have any Klingon ships now. No, I don't. At this time. Oh, we have the quantum torpedo upgrades. I think everybody should get one of those if I can afford it. All right, that's good for that. And then I think at this point, again, I'm not worried about the class fives. I feel like I really need to just boost up the, the lower class ships so that they don't blow up. I'm really worried about this one, so I'm, I think I'm just going to give them more of the same. Another one of those. Another shield, another thrust, another, they actually, let's take away, the thrust. yeah, well, there we go. So that ship is loaded up. If it blows up at this point, I'm going to be real upset. This ship got a good amount of stuff. I guess I'll give them another round of each. And then maybe give each of these a shield. And then give them better phasers. Which I don't think I can afford for everybody. Or maybe, oh, I could. All right, so the four galaxies are the same. What's left that I might want to add on? Let's give, um... Insufficient credits. Oh, all right, forget it. Let's save this, this is AO7. I think this is AO7. All right, do it. All right. So we have to take back the station, destroy the fleet, enemy fleet, and the, and the station must survive. So how are we going to do that? So first of all, I have Galaxy to... Galaxy selected. Group... One, set. All right, my transports are group two. Group two, set. All right. So I'm gonna move the transports out of the way because they have to stay safe. And the rest of the group's gonna go toward the station and take out everybody. 
All right. I think we're good. So group two selected. Group two. Affirmative. Get the heck out of the way. And as soon as they clear the group here, I'm going to. All right. Keep going. Come on. I want to turn on warp or get them into warp speed. But oh, is there somebody out there? Uh, I certainly hope not. Well, if there is somebody out there, I'm going to find out shortly. Galaxy detected. Wait, Galaxy? So one of our ships is out there. That's weird. Yeah, yeah. It's one of our people. All right. Well, that's cool. Group one select selected. Group one selected. All right, group one. You are headed straight that way. Let's go. Attack confirmed. Affirmative. Warp signature detected. Confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Affirmative. Warp signature detected. Kavorcha detected. All right, so the Klingons are warping in. They're going to help out. It's good. Uh, there's nobody for me to fight, so I think what I need to do. Proceeding to coordinates. Because the thing is. It, you don't want to fight near the station because you're going to damage it. So it's kind of a tricky spot to be in. But I'm going to make my way towards that spot. Well, no, like I said, I don't want to go near the station. That's right, everybody, let's go out this way. Remember to go in for the dramatic views more often, but it gets really loud. Enemy ship destroyed. Well, what else is out there? good so we cleared out I think most of the immediate threat confirmed Who, what is this thing attack confirmed 
Confirmed. Oh, see, that's the problem. I don't want to fight them near the station because I'm... I don't want to risk losing it. So let's, uh... Destination. Let's see if we can tease them away. Destroyed. Alright, I think we did it. Uh, there's nothing out there. They're just... My allies are just sitting out there doing nothing. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, I'm just checking my notes. Alright, the next thing to do... Right, so we're targeting shields. And we're going to lower the shields from the station. But I have to remember to stop. Hold fire before I destroy it. Stop. Alright, let's get one of the troop transports out here. Affirmative. Group one selected. Yeah, look at that. They didn't crash into the station like a bunch of idiots. Affirmative. Although they are wandering for no good reason, so let's let's make sure they're not uh, doing something untoward. Somebody's flying in. There they are. All right, we're basically gonna uh, gonna unload everybody on this ship. Onto the station. Group one selected. Do I need to attack again? Attack confirmed. Yeah, I do. Alright, so now this freighter is going to unload all of its people on there to take it over. All right, I just have to keep going until their shields come back up, which they might not. Oh, there it is. All right, group one. Group one selected. Group one selected. All right, let's keep going. Almost. Made it, all right. This transport now needs to Confirmed. get the heck out of here. Group one selected. So you can see here that the the station strength is dropping. Um, I guess that's meant to be their personnel. So we're just murdering all of these hundreds of people on the station, uh, and you can see there that the blue number is slowly ticking down as well. Uh, that means I'm losing people every once in a while. But not as many. Yeah, see, I lost one there. Oh, but yeah, we're chill. Don't worry, we'll make it uh, in just a little bit. I guess the idea was you should use both transports worth of people to take it over, but it would, it would be faster. But the, the risk is if you bring in one transport and it gets blown up, 
with all the people on it, or you bring in both and they get blown up. It's not good, so. Uh, so it's better to bring in one, unload it, send it back, and then you have the backup just in case. Oh. It's the final few uh, holdouts getting killed off here. And that's it. Alright, so now we're going to have a bunch of enemies warping in, I believe. Let's get out in front of that. Yep, this way. Enemy ship destroyed. Jem'Hadar fighter Jem detected. Battle cruiser detected. Attack confirmed. So we're. Well, it looks like we're done apparently. But uh, I'm just gonna Enemy take out the last destroyed. few. Oh, I forgot. Attack. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack. Enemy ship. Enemy ship destroyed. Destination. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Proceeding to coordinates. Oh. Proceeding to coordinates. I think that was it. Well, I mean, we took everybody out. So. Declare victory. Alright, so what do we get? Bosch is an admiral now. That's good. Pachuch got promoted to captain. That's also what we wanted there. So that worked out. I don't understand the resource bonus. Like, I don't, I don't get who gets the resource bonus. But uh, at least some people got it. Kira got a huge resource bonus, whatever that does. Experience-wise, um, they all got something. That's good. We completed all the objectives. That's good. Start all right. Five two six one three point four. Now that they have the Breen and their formidable weapons on their side, the Dominion has turned its efforts back to shipbuilding. Once again, they're creating new Jemadar warships at an alarming rate. The entire Alpha Quadrant will fall under Dominion control within eight months, unless we halt their ability to produce new ships and Jemadar soldiers. And now. We have just one chance to do exactly that. Starfleet Intelligence has located a massive Dominion shipyard and sensor array near the Chintaka system, orbiting the Protostar Talon 1265. You're going to lead a full-scale attack on that shipyard, Captain, and cripple the Dominion war machine once and for all. The Dominion knows that if they lose this shipyard, their chances of conquering the Alpha Quadrant are slim to none. They'll hit you with everything they've got, so be ready for a very rough ride. The situation here, Captain, is best described as all or nothing. You must destroy not only the shipyards, but also the sensor array and the Dominion fleet guarding them both. Your task force will consist of two Galaxy-class starships, one Negvar-class Klingon warship, and three Barel-class Klingon birds of prey. This could very well mark a turning point in the war, Captain. If you succeed, they'll be teaching classes about you at Starfleet Academy. Oh, wonderful. It's not, uh, if you succeed, you'll save civilization. It's that, uh, hey, they'll talk about you in, in war class. How you did the good war. All right. So, destroy the shipyard, destroy all the pe the sensor net, uh, and all the people who are going to be around that. So, let's do it. So, uh, I, I, I hate having to clear pair every time, but it, it's the cleanest way to do it. Just gonna wipe the slate. Unable oh, no. to comply. No, I didn't want to do that. So we have one Negvar. You only ever get one. It's like the it's like the Klingon capital ship or whatever. Uh, do we have a Klingon Admiral who can hop in there? Stop. All right. Uh, yeah, we do. Old Hus. Hus goes in there. And then a 
then it's just galaxy ships for the rest. I'm not sure if I can actually afford that, but let's find out. So, just go down the list here of all the top the admirals, the chef, Dax. Oh, I think we're going to be able to do this. Is Baj an admiral? Yeah, Baj is. There we go. That's the squad. Uh, six women, all getting promoted way past all the, all the dudes we all know. Machooch is a captain now, but I don't think I'm going to have cause to use her again as a captain. Uh, that's pretty good. Some of these were class 1 when we started, right? Like, I think Baj was a class 1 in the beginning. Maybe Dax as well. Uh, Hus, I believe as well. Alright, well. Let's, let's equip everybody, so, so let's see what they need. Alright, this is a Klingon ship, which means they get Klingon stuff. Let's see. Super Disruptor for the Klingon. Shield for the Klingon. Better weapons performance for the Klingons. Anything else? That's it for them. Phaser Extender for the Federation. Shield Thruster. That Shield Thruster. Alright, as long as everyone gets one of each, that's a pretty good loadout, I'd say. Alright, yeah, that's that's one of each for everybody. Now let's uh, go to the other end. Oh, the quantum upgrades, I forgot. Let's give everybody one of those. Insufficient credits. Alright, not everybody gets one, but that's fine. Uh, this would be A08, I think he said. Mission 8. I'm just going to save file naming. Alright, A08. We have 1830 left. What, what does that buy me? Well, since they're missing the quantum torpedo upgrades, let's give them... Uh, extra shields? Sure. And then let's give somebody extra thrust. Why not? I don't quite... Un I don't know if a Federation stuff is meant to work with Klingon stuff or not. It lets you do it. Add them. So, maybe. Alright everybody, let's get you all to control one. Group one set. So what the heck are we doing? I already forgot. Oh yeah, destroy the shipyard and the sensor array. So where are we? So this is us here in the top right corner. And we're going to have to basically make our way across this sensor field and then around the planet. I think this is pretty straightforward. It's just like proceeding to coordinates. It's just getting get west and destroy everything. Hold on, I'm not trying to take on half a dozen ships at once. It's my strategy. Oh, they're gonna follow me though. That's cool. Enemy ship destroyed. Noran detected. Cardassian fighter detected. Oh, what? Huh? Breen detected. 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 Attack confirmed. Oh, I said I'm not trying to get surrounded. 
Did you see that? They were they were surrounding me. That's not cool. Gemini detected. Cruiser detected. Yeah, they were straight up surrounding me. I'm gonna go around the edge. How's that health holding up? Pretty good. We're doing alright. I'm just taking out the brain first, as always. A lot of small ships. What are they even doing? Oh, there's a class three. Let's focus on that. Well, they really kicked my ass. I think it's all the class ones. Proceeding to coordinates. Enemy ship destroyed. That ship is dead. I can't. I, there's no way to destroyed. save it. Group one selected. Galaxy destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. There it is. Enemy, sh Enemy ship destroyed. One selected. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. How did that happen? I didn't even. I, yeah, I just was not paying attention and we got taken out. See, Enemy that's what happens destroyed. when you zoom in like this. This is the cool view, but you lose, you know, scope of the whole Enemy thing. Enemy ship destroyed. Group one selected. I mean, they're all admirals at this point, so it, it's fine. Well, that was quite a battle. Let's get ourselves destination confirmed. Attack. Confirmed. Enemy. 
Enemy ship destroyed. Destination. Look at that. They're wandering off again. It's very frustrating. Attack confirmed. So look at that idiot up Enemy there. Ship destroyed. Oh man, I'm getting animated here. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. I feel like there's going to be another shield generator right at the edge of this. Group. Is that a ship coming out this way? Yeah, it is. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. What is it? It's a freighter. Now, freighters want to board. Attack so they gotta, gotta take those out quick. Ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. More freighters. Okay. Attack confirmed. I want to lose our people that badly. Enemy ship destroyed. Destination confirmed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship Attack. destroyed. Confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Jem'Hadar battle cruiser detected. Nope. Still working on objectives. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Attack confirmed. Confirmed. What's this? More freighters? Are you kidding? Attack confirmed. Enemy ship Attack. destroyed. Confirmed. Enemy ship Enemy destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed.
Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Yep. I knew it was out there and Enemy I decided not to go destroyed. for that uh, shield generator. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Oof, okay. How does that map look? There's a there's a line of ships all along the edge here. A bunch of them in the middle. Guaranteed there's some shield generators in the mix. I'm gonna go out toward that planet. Just to see what's out there for that moon. Jemadar carrier detected. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship Attack destroyed. Confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. If you hear a helicopter, uh, blame NASA. I live right by a NASA facility and there's always helicopters Enemy and planes. Destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Affirmative. Attack confirmed. Attack. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Uh oh. We're getting it up on that dumb galaxy that keeps wandering off by itself. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed.
Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Proceeding to coordinates. Yeah, so now I'm gonna go, I think, take out this whole line of stuff and head back toward the planet. So let's, Affirmative. let's make our way to the outer edge. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. 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 Proceeding. Tonga detected. Tonga detected? What? Is it this one? Yeah, it is. Ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack. Con Enemy ship destroyed. Oh, there was someone behind us. Okay. Jemadar warship detected. Jemadar carrier detected. Affirmative. Nope. They were going too far. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Proceeding to coordinates. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Gemma. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack. There goes that idiot. I don't like that galaxy on its own. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy Attack. ship destroyed. Destroyed. Look at that. What is, what is this? Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. I, I really have to wonder if that's like the captain with bad stats or if it's a bug. Enemy ship destroyed. If they keep wandering off like that. I don't know. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship Attack destroyed. confirmed. 
Uh, no, let's swipe. Let's finish him off here. Enemy ship, oh. destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Look at those three galaxies wander out to the middle of nowhere. Enemy ship destroyed. Except I will not allow it. So let's just take them out. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Proceeding to coordinates. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. The question now is what is left? Like, is there anything anywhere? Proceeding to coordinates. You know what? No. Forget it. Let's just call it. Alright, everyone's an admiral, which they already were. So who did we lose? Oh, it was Benty. Yeah, Benty just got a couple of kills and got taken out of the fight. Oh well. That means she's probably going to be like the lowest ranking admiral, which I don't know if that matters. Once once you've made admiral, it doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, everyone else got quite a lot of experience. Plenty of kills, plenty of uh, uh, lots of stuff. All right, let's go. Stardate 52764.8. The Dominion has become even more aggressive after the destruction of the shipyards at Talon 1265. I suspect their bravado is a mask for their desperation, but whatever their motivations truly are, their actions are unmistakable. A massive fleet of Dominion warships is headed for the Sol system at maximum warp. They're launching an invasion of Earth. Your orders are simple, Captain. Defend Earth and all star bases and communication arrays from the Dominion attack and destroy as many enemy vessels as possible. The Jem'Hadar will most likely be leading the assault, with the Breen battleships and Cardassian heavy cruisers following close behind. They'll also be looking to destroy our star bases and subspace radio relays, so be watching for flanking maneuvers and decoy tactics. This is a big fleet coming at you, and you need to choose ships that are up to this kind of heavy combat. It's your call. But I'd recommend you take several Galaxy-class starships with Akira-class heavy cruisers for support. Earth's fate is in your hands, Captain. Good luck and Godspeed. I keep dwelling on fate. All, all of the fates are in my hands. Uh, that's fine. So, destroy another fleet. Protect another thing. Uh, that thing being uh, planet Earth. And um, yeah, make sure all the star bases and defenses stay stay put yeah uh, let's let's just check in on our our ranks see how the admirals are, are looking nice but there you go the so the six that I focused on are still the top ones I mean Necheyev was already there she was already an admiral but I mean everyone else was I think they were all class one people that I promoted all the way up to well no Kira was already a captain but, you know, mostly people who I, I brought up. Uh, I think I can keep... So yeah, I can keep the ship the setups pretty much the same. Uh, just add more. So let's do that. Uh, did we get any new stuff? I don't think we're capturing any ships on the last couple of missions, so I'm going to skip the transport. Um, one of those, one of those. Uh, what else? What else do the Klingons get? They get a, that thing, they get the AI targeting. And let's... one more shield. Alright. And then let's do another round of these things for that. Just a round of all the basics for everybody.
Wait, they had this one had two shields. Let's hold on. Let's let's load balance a little bit. Don't go, don't go, don't go nuts. All right, uh, everybody has everybody's pretty well loaded up with stuff. I mean, yeah, the, the Magvar is done. Uh, well, I like to I like shields, so let's just keep adding shields to everybody. Oh, they don't have quantum upgrades. None of them. Oh, that one does. That one does. That one does. Yeah, they're missing quantum upgrade. And I think that's most of what I had. Let's go over here to the end. Three shields, three shields, three shields, three shields. What's the cheapest thing? Uh, I can afford two more shields, so... Let's... let's go nuts on the shields. And I can afford... and that's it. Alright, let's save that. This would be AO9. Alright, zoom out as always. Selected. Wait, what? Negvar. Selected. All right, everybody is selected. We're in group one. one. Set. All right, let me look at the the old notes here. What are we doing? I think we're just gonna we're gonna head toward this position. Affirmative. Between Earth and everything. Detected. Why do I only see four ships on the screen? Green. Detected. Jemadar fighter. Detected. Detected. Attack. Wait, what? Something's not right here. Proceeding to coordinates. Attack. Enemy ship destroyed. That was weird. Enemy ship destroyed. I don't know what was going on. Attack confirmed. Hold impulse. Attack. Enemy ship dis. Enemy. Sh Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy proceeding ship. to coordinates. All right, now go Attack there. Confirmed. Oh wait, never mind. Someone's somebody's coming down this way. That one disc blob here, that, that's a big assault. I have to get ready to bounce. Attack. Destroyed. Attack. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack. 
Detected. Enemy ship destroyed. Yeah, I think we're doing okay. Destination confirmed. Unless I lost a base somewhere, I might have. Borsha detected. Negvar selected. Group one selected. Yeah, yeah, I'm just supposed to guard stuff and destroy ships. Wait, what is that? What is that jiggle going on down there? This stuff, what is that? Oh, it's just the weapons platforms, I guess. Hmm. Something is amiss. Why is it so quiet? We have some Romulans out there. Helping us out, that's good. What are those? Proceeding to coordinates. I think that might be of interest. Let's go out there. Do not crash into anything, you idiots. Gaylor, detected. detected. Battle cruiser detected. Confirmed. Oh, we have some stuff coming in from the side here. I think they're engaged. Yeah, the Klingons are fighting them. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack. Yeah, they're fighting somebody out there. I think I have to go out there too. Enemy ship destroyed. Who's... Who is still firing and why? Destination confirmed. I think I'm hearing that. But that's that's like across the galaxy solar system, so. Affirmative. Sure. Jemadar carrier detected. Attack. Destroyed. All right, that was it. We protected Earth. Good for us. We live there, so I guess we ought to do that. Uh, again, everyone's an admiral. Everyone gets kills. Uh, no resource bonus for Benti. I wonder why.
Stardate 52936.1. Their attack on Earth failed, and now the Dominion forces have retreated all the way back to Cardassia Prime to regroup. Under normal circumstances, the Federation wouldn't consider the conquest of an entire civilization. But these are desperate times, and the Federation is, in this matter, in complete agreement with the Klingon and Romulan empires. It's time to invade Cardassia Prime. The Dominion must not be allowed to rebuild its war machine. In order to bring a swift end to this war, a full-scale invasion of Cardassia Prime will be launched, and the attack will be pressed until the Dominion is forced to surrender. Your orders are to neutralize the Dominion's defensive orbital weapons platforms, destroy all enemy vessels and defenses, and land troops on Cardassia Prime. You're an old veteran of this war now, Captain. You don't need me to tell you how to assemble a strike force. Take your best, your fastest, and your strongest, and I'll see you on Cardassia Prime. Wow. Uh, okay, so this is it. This is the final mission of the Federation campaign. Um, and it does mirror what happens on the show. Like, the, the final act of the war is the Klingons and the Romulans and the Federation all kind of crowding around Cardassia Prime to to take them out, to, to end it. Uh, and that's what we're about to do. So yeah, the main thing is capture the planet and uh, defeat the defenses. So uh, again, I think everyone stays the same. Uh, I like to check up on everyone's rankings, see where they are. Although I think we checked already, right? Like they're just the top six people. Interesting that Dax uh, is now the top ranking admiral. Above Hus, Kieran, Achev, Benteen, and Baj. You can, I guess it's based on how much they cost. Anyway, how many other admirals do we have? Ross, yeah, just the four that were already admirals before. Ross, uh, that's the guy who's been talking this whole time, but uh, nope. Now, maybe they're participating elsewhere, but my squad is all, all these folks. Uh, I have more money, which means if anybody is still missing things, they should get more stuff. Let's give them a final phaser extender, shield and phaser, shield and phaser. Actually, I take that back. Uh, I've observed that the, the best things for everybody are the quantum torpedo upgrades. So let's do that. But just load him up with the, the quantum torpedo upgrade. So, boom, boom. Oh, wait, do I have to... Uh, actually, hold on. I think I might have to land some troops. So, I take that back. What do we need if we're going to land troops? We need these three things. So, I think everyone has two slots. Yeah, everyone has two slots. So, let's do phaser rifle, combat triage. Let's, yeah, let's just give everyone that. Um, crew, I think they're all maxed out, aren't they? Maybe not. Let's just max them all out. Right. Uh, oh man, I, I don't like to have leftover money, but I think I'm going to have it. I've given everyone all the things. And and I loaded up their crews. So I think uh, we've just maxed ourselves to the end of the game here. Oh, well, that's fine. A little, little extra for the savings, huh? What, what did they all gather in the end? See, look, Cardassian expert, Geminar expert, 
Master scientist, science expert, all right. Who has the most? It looks like Dax and Kira both got the same stuff. Security, command stuff, blah, 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 blah. All right. That's pretty good. I'm going to save this last one. This would be A10. Morsha detected. Negvar selected. Group 1 set. So we're going to capture the homeworld and defeat the defenses. All right. How are we going to do it? What do you think? Uh, I suspect it's going to be a lot of my ships crowding around stuff and shooting at it. All right. It looks like there's, oh, yeah, there's a squad of transports ahead of us, so I have to support them, basically, all the way to the planet. Confirmed. Haven't we done this before? Oh, yeah. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Destination confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Destination confirmed. Gemma ship destroyed. detected. What? Ooh, what? I've destroyed Attended. so much. Enemy ship destroyed. Gemma Attack. All right, let's destroy the. Whatever Enemy they're trying to throw at me. Enemy ship. Oh, they're all class one. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. What is that? Enemy ship destroyed. It's the class one. Close it. Nobody behind us, right? No. Looks good. Affirmative. Affirmative. Where are we anyway? We're at the bottom of this mini map. We're headed north or up top of the map. Proceeding to coordinates. This battle is much more dramatic on the TV show. No surprise. Like, there's just a lot more ships and it's a lot more stuff Proceeding at stake. Proceeding to coordinates. Okay, it looks like we're coming up on three. Three jerks. Yeah, Attack three. confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Galor detected. Jemadar carrier detected. Uh oh, where? Enemy ship destroyed. Oh, there they are. Game attack detected. Jamadar. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. I just sit there and do nothing. Enemy they, ship destroyed. They just take them all out. Very handy. Confirmed. All right. Well, I can't hang back too far. I gotta stay ahead of this. This punch. Attack confirmed. Enemy 
Did they take out my buddy? No, I don't think so. Oh, am I missing somebody? I only count five. Oh no, I think I lost somebody. Look! I, I lost somebody, for sure. I didn't even get to notice that I lost the friendly. Anyway. Why is the Meg Bar hanging back? Group one selected. Confirmed. Negmar, what's wrong with you? Oh, it's the same thing as last time. It gets hung up on Negvar being with the Klingons. Group one selected. Well, fine. You you just catch up when you can. Destroy. Galaxy selected. Group one selected. Confirmed. All right, we're still down to five raiders, which I guess is fine. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Confirmed. Jamadar fighter detect. Galor detect ship destroyed. Tonga detected. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. En Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Proceeding to coordinates. What are these guys doing anyway? The other escort types. They're not even shooting back. Okay, whatever. Affirmative. Enemy ship destroyed. Alright, I think we made it. We lost one, but Gaylor, we still have enough. Jem'Hadar strike cruiser detected. Destination confirmed. Jem'Hadar strike cruiser detected. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Oh, wait. I thought we were done. There's one more. Confirmed. There's one more thing I have. Enemy ship destroyed. A 
Affirmative. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Tonga detected. Where is the Tonga? Cardassian off? fighter detected. Oh, they're coming in. Tonga okay. detected. Detect enemy ship destroyed. Cardassian Ooh, a lot of them detected. And where's my backup? They're they're back there. Take out the enemy brain ship. first. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy. Enemy ship. Enemy ship. Friendly ship destroyed. Enemy. Sh enemy ship. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack. Enemy ship. Enemy ship destroyed. Alright, who do I target? I don't even know. Attack. Oh, the brain. Always the brain. Are they coming around? Enemy ship. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship destroyed. Friendly attack. There's like three class fives trying to surround us. What the heck? Attack confirmed. I mean, we we did it. But still not. Destroy. Attack. Confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack. Confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack. Confirmed. Enemy ship... Proceeding to coordinates. What am I missing? Defeat the Dominion Alliance defenses. Alright. Attack confirmed. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. Look at that. I think they're actually still fighting out there, aren't they? Probably. Enemy ship destroyed. Galaxy selected. What? Group one destination confirmed. I think that's it. I think now we're going to clean up the platforms around the planet, and then that'll be it. Enemy ship destroyed. Unable to comply. Which, there cannot be that many left. Affirmative. Yeah, it's funny. They captured here that uh, Cardassia Prime is not a good-looking planet. I think the, I think the lore there is that the Cardassians are, uh, well, they kind of used up all their resources. That's why they're, you know, always trying to conquer nearby planets like Bajor, which is a critical the planet by the wormhole and by Deep Space Nine. Um, yeah, they're always trying to capture uh, planets because they just burned up all their resources. Because of, you know, whatever their older civilization just uh, uses Attack up too much. Confirmed. Which I'm sure is a little warning for all of us. Enemy ship destroyed. Attack confirmed. That's it. Uh, Alright, we won. 
that was the final mission. We uh, we captured the planet. We defeated all the defenses. But we can do one last check-in with everybody to see how they did. Who got the most kills? Uh, Dax. All right. Dax and then Baj and Benti got tied up. My friends, I salute you all on a victory hard won. But let us never forget those who gave their lives for this noble cause. And as we look ahead, we must not bear grudges. We must embrace former enemies as friends. And we must ensure that the peoples of the Alpha Quadrant and the Dominion learn to live together in peace. That is the end. And I'm noticing how blurry my webcam is, man. I, I cannot tell you what's going on with it. Yeah, I think it's freaking out for some reason. HD cam my butt. Anyway, it's the end of the campaign. Uh, that was it. These are the credits for uh, the developer, Gizmo Games, the publisher, Simon Schuster, uh, and I'm sure all of the Paramount people who uh, you know own the license. But yeah, that's the end of the Federation campaign. Like I said, it mostly is faithful to the to the events of the show in terms of how the war kind of plays out. Uh, that's not going to be the case with the next campaign. Part two of this playthrough is playing through as the Dominion and going through their uh, an alternate history in which they turn the tide in their favor. So they're the ones who kind of start to gain victories and ground and, uh, they, as they fight their way through the Federation and the Klingons and Romulans and everyone else. That's part two. This is the end of part one with the Federation. So like I said, yeah, it's it's... It's pretty faceless, you know, it, it's just missing, um, I don't know, it's, it's missing a certain level of character and narrative that I, I would want from a Deep Space Nine video game. Uh, the characters, you know, again, you have some of the voices in this game, but, but not everybody who is a character on the show. Simon Schuster, they are a book publisher who apparently got into video games for a while, as was, as was the style at the time. But I think they were the publisher of two of two of them. The Fallen, which was the third-person shooter from 2000. That was developed by the Collective, so a different developer. Uh, and then this game. And I don't think they did the previous ones. I hear the voices, very generous, the voice you heard through this whole playthrough. You're going to hear some of the other uh, Jeffrey Combs and Mark, Mark Alamo in the next playthrough. Uh, the, who played the villains. On, on the Dominion side, so that's why they're they pop up a lot more there. And here goes the test crew. Uh, nice to be credited. They they weren't they wouldn't always be credited, but I think by 2001, when this released, uh, publishers were better about that. God, it's, sorry, it's really bugging me that this thing's not zooming in properly. Might be because it's too bright. I don't know. Remo can't wait no longer. I wonder if this satisfied whatever Remo wanted out of this. He waited all this time, and then he got this game. Bink video showed up in all the games back then, so did GameSpy. Uh, like I said, this does have multiplayer. I don't know, I don't think it works anymore. Uh, I wouldn't try it anyway. I'm just doing single player playthroughs. And that's it. So yeah, thanks for watching part one. But uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'll just be right back with part two, in which we'll play as a Dominion. We'll get to kind of be the bad guys, um, make war for the sake of conquering. Um, uh, are the kids into that these days? I don't know. I feel like it's it's not cool to, to want to do that anymore. But we're gonna, the next part. So see you there.